We can always teach bright kids the skills we need, but we can't teach attitudes. Attitudes. That's the important thing. Are they cooperating? Are they really trying to do their best? Do they come to work every day? Do they show up on time? Sure, we need skills, but attitudes really count with me. When I was a busboy, I used to ask the chef questions about cooking. He taught me to make different things here and there. Waiter? I guess I got good at it. When one of the cooks left, right? the chef gave yeah, me his job. Yeah, takes care of the bill, but the tip is just not as good as it should be. I think you did a great job. I get a like kick cooking. something a little bit better than mine. Especially soups and vegetables. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, my friends just, just didn't come up with it for the tip, so... The kitchen's quiet now, well, after the breakfast rush. But just wait till lunch begins, when there's 12 waitresses hollering orders at you. And you gotta remember all of them. You keep your cool, and you use your hair. There's a lot of little tricks to salad making. But the most important one oh. is to make your hands move fast. The head chef is responsible for all these workers. In fact, he is head of all kitchen operations. He must check food quality and develop new recipes. In fact, he is a skilled butcher. He establishes prices for restaurant meals, hires and fires employees. He cuts, trims, and bones all these workers and has to make sure the kitchen operates at a profit. Jim Torrance has a job something like Miguel's. Jim makes all the toasted bread and rolls for his restaurant. Jim has this to say about his job. 